right guys, we are here in the beautiful downtown Calgary because we have this amazing 2020 uh, Neptune Blue Toyota Tacoma uh, and we are photographing this for South Point Toyota and Country Hills Toyota to use for their social media. Now, uh, I want to show you guys how I use specifically the radial filter in Lightroom. So, figured first off, we got to come out, get some photos, shoot these, and then I'll dive into Lightroom and show you guys how I use the radial filter to make my colors pop. And, yeah, oh, well, I'll just show you. So, let's just go do that. All right, guys, what is up? Welcome to my home. We've got Lightroom up here with three photo examples that I can show you using the radial filter and we are gonna selectively adjust our colors so we can make the colors pop. And so I'm just gonna dive right in. Some of you guys may already use these tools, but I don't see a lot of people kind of using this new masking feature. I don't even know if it's new, but not a lot of people are using it. And so we as car photographers can actually use this to make our colorful vehicles kind of really stand out, be able to select them really, really quickly so let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna take a radial filter right here. We are gonna circle over our truck. We don't even have to be that precise because we're gonna use a mask. So you can see here, I've got the mask selected. You can see it's on the outside. So we're just gonna invert that mask there. Hit O, we can now see what that mask is affecting with that kind of red glare there. So you can feather it in, you can feather it out, doesn't really matter because for this case, we are actually gonna use this range mask tool. So you're gonna click that, we're gonna hit color. Tap the color, there's a little eyedropper tool here, we're gonna pick that up and we are going to drag over the side of the car or wherever kind of is the most colorful part and you can see there that it's now just selected the truck. It hasn't done a perfect job, so you can hit shift and you can kind of drag to add more colors and they'll kind of isolate just the car. So again, you can see below under the screen that it's got a little bit more. So we're gonna actually take this amount slider and just drag it till we have just our car isolated. So you can see that does a pretty good job there. And so now, if we go up here, we can actually, and we'll just hit O again to get that red stuff away. We can actually just affect the blue part of our car. Now I will be clear, these are JPEGs that I've pulled into my computer. I've already done the raw editing and just kind of wanted to find a handful of ones we could do for editing here. So it might look like the image is falling apart a bit and it is because they're JPEGs. So always shoot raw. But yeah, you can see here that if I just want to pull up the exposure on just my truck, I can do that. If I want to boost the saturation on just the truck, we can do that. And so this is a really, really quick and easy way to select just the colors that you want. And you can use this tool with almost anything. If you grab a graduated filter, drop down from the top, and we just wanted to select these orange colors. Again, you just go down to the range mask, hit color, grab this, Select the oranges. Let's see how that did. And voila, we've just got our sky selected. You can do this with the paintbrush tool as well. And it's just a really diverse tool. So let's hop over to this next photo. We just want to affect that beautiful McLaren 570S. So we're just gonna grab our radial filter again. We're gonna drag over top of it. You can see that it is affecting around it. So we are gonna invert. You don't need to feather. Let's just see what'll happen here. Range mask, color, grab the dropper, select the McLaren, and there you go. You can see that it is only selecting the McLaren now. If we drag this out, it's gonna take the highlights as well. You can see that you kinda of have to shift the amount that it's taking to make sure that you're nailing it. Hit O so we can see how we're adjusting it, and boom, there's more saturation, desaturation, if we want to add exposure, maybe the highlights are a bit bright on your car or something. Again, these are already pre-edited photos. I just wanted to show you how to use this color mask tool. It's pretty cool. And a third example is this beautiful Ford Focus RS. It's a really nice blue color as well. So we grab that radial filter, drag it over, and again, really, really easy. Just grab that color range, grab the eyedropper, pull over the color you want to select, Hit O. Let's see what's happening. Oh, we've got to invert. There we go. 
And we can drag this to make sure that we're grabbing all of that car. Boom. And then from there, hitting O again, we can start to make our adjustments to just that car. So everything you do, you really want to do it with subtlety, whether it's adding that saturation or exposure, you want to make sure that you're doing it with subtlety and class. But using this tool, it's really, really easy to help your vehicle pop out or stand out just by adding a little bit of exposure, adjusting the saturation. So another cool thing you can do, like for example, with this Ford Focus RS, you can see that the rest of the image around the RS is quite desaturated. So you could, if you want, select this Ford Focus RS and then invert that mask and desaturate everything else that's around it while it's not affecting that vehicle. So there's some pretty cool ways you guys can use these tools and I haven't seen a ton of people using those range masks. So just thought I would put this video out there and maybe it's another tool that you guys can use in editing your car photos or I'm sure you can use this in any of your other photography as well in creating selective adjustments. But there you go guys, I hope that that has been helpful for you. You can find my photos on Instagram at The Car Creative. Um, come say hi there, I love answering any questions that you guys have. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you so much for taking the time. I do hope you learned something. Hit that like button if you guys are into car photography, car reviews, car videography, any of that stuff, that's what I do. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna get more. And that's it for now. So we will see you in the next video. Peace.